Imagine a universe, not in some distant galaxy, but mirroring our own, where time flows in reverse. In this strange realm, broken cups reassemble, spilled water leaps back into the glass, and the elderly grow younger, eventually returning to infancy. It sounds like science fiction, but some physicists propose that such an anti-universe might exist, a mirror reflection of our own, born from the same Big Bang event. This mind-bending idea arises from fundamental symmetries observed in the laws of physics. Just as a mirror reflects our image, these symmetries suggest a possible reflection of our entire universe, a twin, where time runs backward. This isn't just a philosophical thought experiment, it's a serious scientific proposal, grounded in our understanding of the cosmos. The concept of an anti-universe challenges our intuitive grasp of time. We perceive time as a river flowing relentlessly forward, carrying us from the past, through the present, and into the future. But what if this perception is just an illusion, a consequence of our limited perspective within our own universe? Could time, in a grander cosmic sense, be symmetrical, flowing in both directions? The possibility of a time-reversed universe opens up a Pandora's box of questions about the nature of reality. Does our existence have a mirror image, a counterpart living a life in reverse? Do choices made in our universe have consequences in the anti-universe? The very notion of cause and effect, fundamental to our understanding of the world, becomes blurred in the face of such a profound symmetry. Our everyday experience tells us that time moves forward. We see eggs crack and scramble, not unscramble and reform. We watch ice melt in our drinks, not spontaneously freeze. This unidirectional flow of time is often called the arrow of time, and it's a fundamental aspect of our reality. But why does time have an arrow? Why does it flow from past to future and not the other way around? The laws of physics as we understand them don't inherently dictate a direction for time. In fact, most physical laws are time symmetrical, meaning they work equally well whether time runs forward or backward. The arrow of time, as it turns out, emerges from the concept of entropy. Entropy is a measure of disorder or randomness in a system. The second law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of a closed system always increases over time. In other words, things tend to get more disordered, not less. The increasing entropy of the universe is what drives the arrow of time. Imagine a box filled with gas molecules. Initially, the molecules are concentrated in one corner, representing a state of low entropy. As time passes, the molecules spread out, filling the entire box, a state of higher entropy. This process is irreversible because it's statistically far more likely for the molecules to be spread out than concentrated. Symmetry plays a crucial role in our understanding of the universe. In physics, a symmetry refers to a property that remains unchanged even when the system undergoes a transformation. For example, a sphere is symmetrical because it looks the same no matter how you rotate it. Symmetry principles are deeply embedded in the laws of physics. One of the most fundamental symmetries is CPT symmetry. CPT stands for charge, parity, and time. This symmetry implies that if you take a particle, flip its charge, C, reflect it in a mirror, P, and reverse its direction in time, T. The resulting particle should behave according to the same physical laws. CPT symmetry has been experimentally verified to a high degree of accuracy. This means that, at a fundamental level, the laws of physics appear to be indifferent to the direction of time. If you could somehow film a physical process, play it backward, and then apply the CPT transformations, the result would be indistinguishable from the original film. The implications of CPT symmetry are profound. It suggests that for every particle in our universe, there could be a corresponding antiparticle in the anti-universe. These antiparticles would have opposite charges, be mirror images of their counterparts, and exist in a realm where time runs backward. The Big Bang Theory describes the origin of our universe as a colossal explosion from an extremely hot, dense state. 
In the first fraction of a second after the Big Bang, the universe was a seething cauldron of energy and fundamental particles. As the universe expanded and cooled, these particles combined to form atoms, stars, and galaxies, eventually leading to the universe we observe today. If the Big Bang created our universe, did it also create its mirror image, the anti-universe? This is a question that physicists are actively exploring. One possibility is that the Big Bang wasn't a singular event, but rather a symmetrical process, giving rise to two universes expanding in opposite directions of time. In this scenario, the anti-universe would have started with the same initial conditions as our universe, but would evolve in reverse. As our universe expands and cools, the anti-universe would contract and heat up, eventually culminating in a big crunch. This symmetrical picture is aesthetically appealing, but it raises many questions about the nature of the boundary between the two universes. Another possibility is that the anti-universe is not a separate entity, but rather an intrinsic part of our own universe, connected to us through some yet unknown mechanism. This connection could manifest as subtle violations of CPT symmetry, or as faint echoes of the anti-universe's evolution imprinted on our own. Section 5. The CPT Theorem The CPT theorem is a cornerstone of modern physics. It states that any physical process, no matter how complex, remains essentially unchanged if you apply three fundamental transformations. Charge conjugation, C, parity inversion, P, and time reversal, T. This theorem has profound implications for our understanding of the universe and the possibility of an anti-universe. Charge conjugation C involves flipping the charge of a particle. For example, an electron, which has a negative charge, becomes a positron, its antiparticle with a positive charge. Parity inversion P is like looking at the process in a mirror, flipping its spatial coordinates. Time reversal, T, as the name suggests, involves running the process backward in time. The CPT theorem is remarkably robust holding true for all known fundamental forces, including gravity, electromagnetism, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. It suggests a profound symmetry in the universe, implying that the laws of physics are indifferent to the direction of time. If the CPT theorem holds absolutely, it implies that for every particle in our universe, there should be a corresponding antiparticle in the anti-universe. Existing in a realm where time runs backward, this antiparticle would have the opposite charge, be a mirror image of its counterpart, and behave according to the same physical laws, albeit with time flowing in reverse. Section 6. A Universe in Reverse Imagine stepping into the anti-universe. What would you experience? The first thing you'd notice is the reversed flow of time. Events would unfold in reverse order, with effects preceding causes, Broken objects would spontaneously reassemble, and aging would happen in reverse, with people growing younger instead of older. In the anti-universe, the arrow of time would point in the opposite direction. Entropy would decrease over time, meaning systems would become more ordered, not less. Imagine watching a shattered glass reassemble itself piece by piece, or a spilled drink spontaneously leaping back into its container. The laws of physics would operate the same way in the anti-universe, but with time reversed. For example, gravity would still attract objects, but the process would happen in reverse. Imagine an apple falling from a tree in the anti-universe. Instead of falling down, it would appear to fall upwards, as if time were rewinding. Life in the anti-universe would be a mirror image of life in our universe. People would be born old and gradually grow younger eventually returning to infancy. Memories would form in reverse, with people remembering the future and anticipating the past. The entire history of the anti-universe would unfold in reverse, culminating in a big crunch instead of a big bang. Section 7. Implications and Speculations The idea of an anti-universe has profound implications for our understanding of the cosmos, it challenges our intuitive notions of time, causality, and even the nature of reality itself. If such a universe exists, it raises a host of intriguing questions and speculations. 
One implication is the possibility of a mirror life in the anti-universe. If our universe is teeming with life, could the anti-universe harbor its own forms of life, evolving in reverse? These life forms would experience time flowing backward, perceive cause and effect in reverse, and potentially have a completely different understanding of reality. Another implication is the possibility of interacting with the anti-universe. If the two universes are connected in some way, could we send signals or even travel to the anti-universe? Such interactions could revolutionize our understanding of physics and potentially unlock new technologies beyond our current comprehension. The existence of an anti-universe also raises philosophical questions about free will and determinism. If our actions in this universe have mirror counterparts in the anti-universe, does that imply a predetermined fate, with both universes playing out a pre-scripted script? Or could there be a degree of freedom in both universes, with choices and consequences unfolding independently? Section 8. Questions and Answers The concept of an anti-universe is still highly speculative, and many questions remain unanswered. Physicists are actively exploring the theoretical implications and searching for observational evidence to support or refute this intriguing idea. One key question is how the anti-universe would interact with our universe. Are the two universes completely separate, or is there some form of connection or interaction between them? Could there be subtle violations of CPT symmetry that hint at the existence of the anti-universe? Another question is how life could exist in the anti-universe. If time flows backward, how would biological processes, which rely on a specific direction of time, function? Would life in the anti-universe be based on entirely different principles, or could it somehow adapt to a reversed arrow of time? The search for the anti-universe is a challenging endeavor. It requires pushing the boundaries of our current understanding of physics and developing new observational techniques to detect subtle signs of its existence. However, the potential rewards are enormous, offering a glimpse into a mirror universe and a deeper understanding of the fundamental nature of time and reality. Section 9. The Search for Evidence Finding evidence for the anti-universe is a daunting task. It's like searching for a whisper in a hurricane, looking for subtle clues amidst the vastness and complexity of the cosmos. However, physicists are exploring several avenues to test the anti-universe hypothesis. One approach is to look for violations of CPT symmetry. While this symmetry is considered fundamental, some theories suggest that it might be broken at extremely high energies or in extreme gravitational fields. Detecting such violations, however subtle, could provide indirect evidence for the anti-universe. Another approach is to search for particles or radiation originating from the anti-universe. If the two universes are connected, there might be a faint leakage of particles or energy across the boundary. Detecting such leakage would provide compelling evidence for the anti-universe's existence. Cosmological observations also offer potential clues. The cosmic microwave background radiation, a relic of the Big Bang, might contain subtle imprints of the anti-universe's evolution. Analyzing these imprints could reveal information about the anti-universe's properties and its relationship to our own. Section 10, Our Place in the Multiverse. The concept of an anti-universe is just one of many ideas explored in the realm of cosmology. The idea of a multiverse, where our universe is just one of many, has gained traction in recent years. These universes could have different physical laws, different dimensions, and even different arrows of time. In the context of the multiverse, the anti-universe could be just one of many parallel universes, each with its own unique set of properties. These universes could be separated by vast distances or exist in different dimensions, making them difficult or impossible to detect directly. The idea of a multiverse raises profound questions about our place in the grand scheme of things. If our universe is just one of many, does it hold any special significance? Are there other intelligent beings in these other universes, pondering their own existence and the nature of reality? 
The multiverse concept is still highly speculative, but it offers a tantalizing glimpse into the vastness and diversity of the cosmos. It challenges our anthropocentric view of the universe and suggests that our reality might be just a small part of a much grander and more complex tapestry. Section 11, Time's Ultimate Mystery. The possibility of an anti-universe forces us to confront the ultimate mystery of time. Is time a fundamental aspect of reality, flowing relentlessly forward, or is it a more malleable concept, capable of flowing in both directions or even standing still? The anti-universe theory suggests that time might be more symmetrical than we perceive it to be. Our everyday experience gives us the illusion of a unidirectional flow of time, but on a cosmic scale, time might be more like a mirror, reflecting events in both directions. The search for the anti-universe is ultimately a search for a deeper understanding of time itself. By exploring the possibility of a time-reversed universe, we gain new insights into the nature of causality, entropy, and the fundamental laws that govern our reality. The mystery of time is one of the most profound and enduring questions in science and philosophy. The anti-universe theory offers a new perspective on this age-old question, challenging our assumptions and inspiring us to explore the universe with a sense of wonder and curiosity.